BMW's iconic R9T, introduced a decade ago, has undergone significant upgrades for 2024. However, instead of leaving the model's distinctive name untouched, BMW has added a 12 right in the middle, resulting in the new name, R12 9T. Originally, the 9T name commemorated the 90th anniversary of BMW's motorcycle production when the bike debuted in 2014. So why not call it something like our Scent, our 12 100th, or even our 100th, since BMW has now crossed the century mark? But hold on, it's still essentially the same machine despite the updates. Perhaps BMW should have left the 12 out of it and not meddled with what already worked. This isn't just about the name. The motorcycle itself is still a solid offering, albeit with a few small drawbacks. From afar, the R12 9T doesn't immediately reveal many changes compared to the previous model. The removal of the air intake trumpet and slightly sleeker lines are subtle clues, but the real changes lie beneath the surface. And that's where BMW has done well. The bike retains its retro-modern aesthetic that nods to the brand's rich motorcycle heritage. Beneath the surface of our test unit, painted in the optional $325 San Remo green metallic with brushed and clear-coated aluminum accents, there's a new, lighter trellis frame with a bolt-on subframe, shaving 2.2 pounds off the bike's total weight. The suspension has also been improved. The front fork has grown from 43mm to 45mm, while the rear now features a linkless shock mounted at an angle instead of vertically. Both the front and rear offer 4.7 inches of travel. The geometry has been tweaked to enhance stability, with the wheelbase extended nearly an inch to 59.5 inches and the steering rake more relaxed at 27.7 degrees, with 4.4 inches of trail. Despite the name change, the R12 9T stays true to its roots, blending classic design with modern upgrades, and it continues to be a bike that hits the mark, even with a few minor misses. The R12 9T retains its familiar 1,170 cubic centimeters air-slash-oil-cooled 8-valve boxer twin engine, with BMW claiming the same 109 peak horsepower, though it now arrives 250 RPM earlier. Peak torque is 84.8 lbft, down just 0.7 lbft from the previous model, delivered at 6,500 RPM. The underseat airbox has replaced the intake trumpet that was located on the right side of the previous model's fuel tank. A new exhaust system, which no longer includes the low-speed, decibel-reducing exhaust valve, features a silencer box with a catalytic converter below the transmission, eliminating the need for the valve and feeding twin outlet pipes positioned on the left side. The cockpit of the R12 9T offers a mixed experience in terms of space. The reach to the wide, tubular handlebars is comfortable with a natural elbow bend for a 5 feet 10 inches rider like me. However, the lower half of the bike feels a bit more cramped between the 31.3 inch high seat and the slightly rear set foot pegs, though it's not to the point of discomfort like on a sport bike. Most riders should be able to go through an entire 4.2 gallon tank without needing a brake. Riding impressions. Starting up the R12 9T delivers the familiar sideways pull from the boxer engine, an iconic feature of BMW's heritage. The idle has a lumpy, robust feel, perfect for a retro roadster. Twist the throttle, and you're greeted with a satisfying BRRRT from the twin pipes, reminiscent of the classic BMW boxer sound. It has that rawness you don't find in the more modern, liquid-cooled models. Shifting into gear, you'll notice a less polished, old-school clunk, reminding you of the bike's classic roots. The clutch feels slightly abrupt due to its narrow friction zone, though the lever pull is light. Our test unit came equipped with the Shift Assistant Pro Quick Shifter, included in the $1,524 Select Package, which made gear changes smoother. You also get Hill Start Assist Pro, Cruise Control, Heated Grips, and Connected Ride Control powered by BMW's smartphone app that allows map, music, and phone features to be operated by the multi-controller on the handlebar and viewed on the TFT display. There are even available smart glasses that present relevant information, much like a head-up display. Three ride modes tailor parameters of BMW's dynamic traction control, throttle response, BMW's engine drag control, and lean-sensitive ABS Pro. Rain mode dials the sensitivity up for wet or slippery roads, calming the throttle and noticeable amount. 
Road mode offers plenty of power and acceleration when the throttle is cranked, but not so much that you'd say the R12 9T is quick. Dynamic adds a crispness that can be a little too much around town, but when riding corner to corner in the mountains, it's the only way to fly. Hustling to and from those corners reveals the sole retro characteristic that is a negative on the R12 9T, the transmission. Rowing through the gears is a clunky and chunky process that is exacerbated by the optional quick shifter. The quick shifter cuts the power abruptly. Selecting a gear takes too much effort up and down, and the reintroduction of power is jerky. It's better to just spend your day in the hills in third or fourth gear, relying on the wonderfully meaty torque and minimizing the towing of the shift lever. Handling is stable, deliberate, and planted thanks to the new frame and suspension, but it's in no way sluggish or slow. You know you're applying effort to make the claimed 485 pound bruiser do what is asked, but not so much that it's tiring or bothersome. It's a steady partner that won't worry or wear you out, but remains extremely entertaining as you plot every curve's entry, apex, and exit. Dual 310mm rotors matched to Brembo 4-piston monoblock calipers provide powerful braking with strong, but not sharp initial bite. As you get deep into the lever, communication with the front tire increases and instills confidence to push a little deeper into curves before blinking. The single rear 265mm rotor and two-piston caliper is along for the ride, but isn't a standout performer. ABS intervention is well calibrated in both the wet and dry modes, and is never too quick to intervene. Even with the R12-9T's not insubstantial weight, braking is highly effective. Roll on the power in dynamic, avoid shifting, and let the R12-9T tug at your shoulders as the revs build and the boxer buzz reverberates off the canyon walls. As much as it's nothing really new or groundbreaking, Despite the changes, the R12 9T still puts a smile on your face. And that's what this bike is really all about. The R12 9T is a celebration of BMW's heritage, and its not fully polished character makes the experience. You get all the feels of old in a modern machine that has comfortable ergos, remains compact, offers plenty of options for customization, and just lets you feel analog in a digital world. But the name still needs work. The 2024 BMW R12-9T delivers a refined blend of performance and classic character. Powered by a 1,170 cubic centimeters air-slash-oil-cooled, eight-valve boxer twin engine, it produces 109 horsepower, arriving slightly earlier than before, with peak torque of 84.8 lbft at 6,500 rpm. Despite a minor reduction in torque, the bike maintains its spirited performance offering strong mid-range pull and a thrilling throttle response. The new exhaust system, minus the previous model's low-speed decibel killing valve, gives the R12 9T a more aggressive tone, enhancing the riding experience with a punchy and raw exhaust note. 